All right, so in this video, I'm gonna cover exactly how I create my YouTube automation videos for $3 per video. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. I'm making right now 12 to 15K a month with Faces YouTube automation channels. And the fact that I make videos for $3 per video, many people are in disbelief as you know, a lot of other gurus, a lot of other people are talking about videos that cost $200, $100 or even more. So let me break this down for you. I'm gonna show you the niche the format, what the video is like, and why I think this is the best, most long-term method that you can see as an investment for business owners, for aspiring entrepreneurs, and for people in a current nine to five. So I'm gonna answer these four questions. First of all, how can it be so cheap? $3 per video sounds ridiculous to many people. What are the videos like? So what do you get for the price? How much I upload? So how much I spend in total per month with this video production cost? And whether this could be a good business model for you. So the first question that I want to answer is, do I make the videos myself? No, I don't. I have a team making the videos for me and that team consists of three people per channel or per format basically, and that is one, a video recorder plus editor, that's one person, then we have the thumbnail designer and we have the video uploader. Let's start with the video recorder and the editor. So this is how it goes. I give him the topic, for example, a topic about how to convert Facebook account into a business page, this is a super simple topic. Here's an example video of another channel. You can see this is the video right here, which will play in a bit. And these are his tasks. He does research to the topic, so he actually shows people how to fix this problem that people have. He does the screen recording, and he does a voice over, over while recording, right? So he just hits recording on his phone, and while he shows the process, he talks. So there are no two separate recordings, it's just all at once. And then he does a mini edit, he cuts the beginning, he cuts the end, maybe he made a mistake in the middle, so he cuts that out. Everything, that's everything you needed to do. And this only takes about 10 to maybe 15 minutes if you're a beginner to do. So you can upload six or four to six videos per hour when doing this. So the price for a video like this is $2 and my video creator teams are all based in the Philippines. Great English and they work for cheap. Now here's an example video that I want to show you. Let me actually see if I can click this. Yes, there we go. All right. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can convert your personal Facebook page. Facebook and then this guy just walks you through the process of done. doing this. You can see one minute video, super simple, no heavy editing. This is everything you need. And these are the kind of videos that are making me this amount of money. So this is the video recording itself. Now let's head over to the thumbnail, which is very similar as well. The thumbnail designer makes the thumbnail from a template that I gave them. For example, again, how to convert Facebook account to business page. Something like that could look like this. Three lines of text and a logo. Super simple, working from a template. So I pay 50 cents for thumbnail and this literally takes two minutes to work. So for me, this is also very fair. And freelancers are happy to be paid this amount for this type of work. Then the third step, which is the uploader. This person uploads the video on my channel. He uploads the video, he selects the thumbnail, he does the SEO, he sets the upload defaults, everything, he schedules the video. I don't touch anything here. And as well here, I pay 50 cents per upload. So we all work with templates. Also with this, everything is works with templates and the freelancers are adding the videos to the channels and I've added them as an employee role. So never give your email and password to someone of your channel or your Google account. You can simply add them to your channel like this. You can go to permissions, then go to permissions for the channel. And then here you can add your freelancer's email address and then add them as an editor or editor limited. Now they can upload the videos without you having to do anything. So in this process right here, the only thing I do is I provide them with the keyword, which is by the way, the main money-making skill, and then they take care of the rest. All right, so for one video, if you can do the math, I pay $3 and everything is taken care of. I don't even upload the videos myself. The videos are all two minutes long, evergreen videos. And across all my channels, I upload roughly 120 videos like this. And that means that I spent $360 per week on video production. Now important to know is that those videos usually take three to six or even longer in months to rank before they become profitable or generate money. I see these channels as long-term investments that can make me money for years. So here's an example channel that I want to show you. I started this almost two years ago right now. In the beginning, it really didn't make much money. We hit a spike with two videos that did really well, but right here it was generating between 10 and $15 every single day. It wasn't growing that much because a lot of videos needed time to rank, but right now, two years later, I'm now hitting $100 days and it's continuing to grow. 
So I have multiple of these channels. As you can see straight away, it takes a long time to build this up. Many people don't have the patience for this, but if you do and you build a lot of these channels, you're basically making passive income without working on it actively. Now, I was recently thinking about this and thinking about for who would this model specifically be best suited for, right? And I've listed these three. You're either a nine to fiver, so you're working from nine to five and you want to build something on the side. You can spend about four to five hours a week on finding keywords, um, uploading the videos and just outsourcing it to a team as you have money available. Or for investors who are looking for alternative active investments like stocks, real estate, I'd like to see this as digital real estate. You can simply put like, let's say a fixed amount of $500 every single month into this channel. And in months from now, maybe years from now, that channel can generate you between 50 and $150 every single day back. So if you're willing to put in the work in that, if you're willing to invest, then this can be a very good way that's close to passive income. So this is also for entrepreneurs. So let's say you already have a current business model and you want to expand to other business models as well. This is a great method. So this is also how I would see it. If you currently have money available, you want to invest your money, you can do that in stocks, again, in real estate, but you can also do it in digital real estate in these videos. So $500 a month, that will be good enough to get to at least $200 a month in about one to one and a half years. Of course, that's not that appealing, but if you just look at it as a traditional way of investing, you would maybe get 5% returns, right? So it doesn't look that bad. This is one of my first channels, started in April 2020, got monetized in November 2020. As you can see right here, this graph has been continuously going up and now generates me between $200 and $250 every single day and has generated over $100,000 in ad revenue. So I wouldn't really recommend this, or I would, I, would really, I wouldn't really recommend this if you are currently completely broke, you have no money, you have a study, you're very busy, like you can probably invest into a freelancer team because you have no money, you don't have much time. So it's not really for those kind of people. You either got to invest money into freelancers, into a team, into, you know, improving your keyword research because it's not like you just spend money and you're going to make it guaranteed. You also need to make sure that your topics are actually good. Or if you do have money available, like one of these three uh, people right here, then you can do this. You can even outsource it to someone who does the research for you, of course, if you have that investment. But this is basically what I was thinking about. I'd rather compare this to an active uh, investment than like a business model that can help you get started. So this is all, all it for this video. Um, I hope this gives you a new insight of why the videos are so cheap, for who this is, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.